Hello and welcome to Mahindra Satyam headquarters. What a journey it has been for erstwhile Satyam and now Mahindra Satyam after Tech Mahindra took over. I'm going to talk about that journey, the roller coaster ride that it has been and stability that it promises right now. I'm joined by a team which has been extremely instrumental in that journey so far and journey ahead perhaps as well. And uh, CP Gurnani, the Chief Executive Officer, thank you for joining us. Padma Parthasarthi, she is uh, heading the integration functions at the company right now. Hari Thalapali, he is the Chief Marketing Officer as well as the Chief People's Officer. A lot of questions coming your way and Vijay Anand, strategic initiatives that he's heading right now. So let me start with you, CP. Uh, from the deal-making days to someone who took over as Chief Executive, two are different things from being a suitor to being, you know, uh, the man of the house in some ways. Um, how has the journey been? I think, Tuina, if you are talking about me as an individual, uh, I have wore this hat between operations and strategy or M&A, and I've played this hat with a very, very clear message that whatever we do, the differentiator is execution. And I love my job of, you know, at times doing strategy, at times spending time with employees, at times spending time in the boardrooms. Sometimes it's too much on the plate to handle? I don't know. There's a lot of food that I do eat, but I don't know what... <laughs> I think it's fun. I mean, that's really what, what keeps us challenged, what keeps us motivated is that sure, there are undefined territories. There are times when there are undefined sets of uh, circumstances. It's how we all as a team can rally together and uh, overcome. But the spotlight never thins. I guess, I mean, that's where, uh, uh, you know, when we were running a public company, we damn well realized it that uh, it was, the spotlight was on you. Yeah, sure, we came and reported to the analysts, we reported to our shareholders, board of directors, almost on an everyday basis, but definitely to the general shareholders and the masses on a quarter onwards and every quarter onwards. Mm -hmm. So, in a lot of ways, the day you become a public company, you are answerable to all your shareholders, answerable to people. How important is it to be answerable to employees as, you know, I gathered you like to be called as chief happiness officer? I mean, you have to again take everything into context. Uh, the context is that as of 13th of April when we walked into this company, one thing was very, very evident was that the trauma between 16th of December to 13th of April mm -hmm. was severe that people had different kind of experiences that they encountered. The experiences of some of the associates canceling their marriage plans, some of them canceling their holiday plans, some of them, you know, worried about whether they would be able to pay the school fees, some of them worried about the mortgages. I mean, overall, the internally, why me? Yeah. I have never done anything in this. And why did this have to happen in my backyard? Hari, is that mood different now than what it was? Very, very different from where we were those days, obviously, uh, for many reasons. Clearly, there is an anchor now. Clearly, there is a, a, a momentum that has, uh, that's back at the organization. So, definitely, that's, that phase is over.